Hello folks and welcome back to the channel from Rebel Extreme here. And here we are. We've bought a one of the easiest buckets, the Brussel und Adel shovel. And it holds 6400 litres and we've just bought some chicken feed. Don't know why, as we've got plenty of chicken feed already, but regardless, bought there so we can use this to help feed our animals, just load up when needed and then tip it in. But it is a bit wayward slightly. Ooh. Just a bit spring there on the tree. But yeah, the chickens are in need of food. And today, turn time's up two times five. Nobody can go through this without destroying the crops because it hasn't fully grown yet enough to be destroyed. But yeah, so we got fertilizing in the middle section of the field, of our mega field. Along with... Cause yeah, you can tell the difference. What's that, weeds? Have a look here. No weeds. And get some weeds. So yeah, I guess then because this was ploughed, and all that, we didn't get any weeds. Fair enough. There we go. Some chicken feed there. And then we'll grab some more from over here. But yep, yeah, main goal for today is gonna be getting everything sorted just in terms with our new production facilities. What what I'm gonna call our production center hub, so this is gonna hold the bulk of our new productions, so where is Barry? Barry's there. Got a little bit of seed because we need some seed and lime. Because these greenhouses are finally running low on those. Oh man, they've lasted a while though, so. Put some in there. Not sure how much it's going to take. So it takes 4,000 litres. So this will take a little bit, and the rest will go into the third one, and yeah, we need some more, but it's in no urgent rush for these, so these are just stuff you notice whilst looking at our production chains, just to assess with what's going on. Okay, where is the... Well, you've got to find the first one, but these ones... Struggling for some reason. Does it need seeds? Yeah, it needs seeds, so. Yeah. No idea. Oh well. Go back into the murdo. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, well, no, 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 no. What's it with me with tipping everything? Bear with me a sec. There we go. That's corrected. Get the weight on. Guess now we're going to be a bit front heavy or rear heavy. Ooh. That's the downside with using the Tanganzer for what all you need. I think we should have gone with a wheel loader instead. Yeah, double the money, but can this should almost hold double the capacity and all that, so... Hindsight, yeah, perhaps we should have gone with the odor. I wish we may still do, because we still got the clothes to sell. They are starting to peak now, but their absolute best peak is in May. So unless we get a high demand request today, we aren't going to do anything with that. Do not mean to drop loose. Just going to pick those up. Oh, 
Yeah, so a bit finicky. We'll get used to it, it's just knowing the trigger points and that. Now right there we did it a bit early, so... That's a little bit of chicken feed there for them. I'll keep them going for the time being. But now, we need to throw us our grass field. Green chopper, serving me here. As I'll say, we need to throw us grass field. And the middle part of our mega field, so if we have a look. I did try to do some bits around the edges, and to be honest, it's not really worth going over them. So really, it's this bit here, and our grass field, so you know what? Can we get that done? And then we'll start looking at our new production chains that we're going to be putting in. Really, a tree. Needs to get rid of these trees. So yeah, that did take too long to do all the fertilizing and herbicide spraying. Yeah, it was a bit fizzy, I think, figuring out where exactly everything was, but got there in the end, so grabbing the fence because we need to grab the plow, so I'm just gonna dump this over here. Just keep it out of the way. Cause I want to start plowing a field to get some Either corn or some flour. Corn. So sick. What can we plant today? I'll be ready for the winter. For October. Soybeans. Soybeans, potatoes, or sorghum. Not make it options. Oh, of course we could do oats again, but obviously we've got a mega field of oats, so... So, raise corn or soybeans. Hmm. Because we do sunflower, they get to be ready to November. And that's when... Cotton, no, that's October for the cotton. It's a possibility, at least, for us, so... We'll have a little thing. Soybeans? Good money crop in that. I think we may just do. Try to think any production streams we need to sorghum. Get the field plowed first because there may be a need for sorghum. Ah, there it is. There's the plow. I know left it somewhere near the greenhouses. Get hooked up at least. There we go. Unless we do two fields. Yeah, we're going to do two fields. Say so one 
sunflower and one either corn or sorghum. But we need to plan this out, so for a thing to north and south of 55. We need to be mindful of our production chains. I know what, that'll be fine. Okay, we're technically going into this property here, so you know what? We'll buy this property here, so that's half. If we say we buy half of the land, so 42,500, so. We'll deduct that and put money from our account. That's 42,200, give or take. And give or take 42,500, that is so. Now we've got full access to this, apart from the shop and the trees, of course. But yeah, 40,400, so... Not sure what, not too bad. But yeah, so I think if we do... In here, we say... Stop by the rock here. Then we have a good field up here. Get rid of some bloody trees. Hook around, go up. It's going to be a bit of a difficult harvest, so I think that's one thing to bear in mind, though. You know what? I think it could be fine. But yeah, we'll leave a bit of space for our production chains, so that's why we're going to leave the gap there. Turn it around. Little bits that uh, that corner we mess up on will sort out. So say oh, I can go a bit closer actually. We'll go closer and I will tweet this afterwards. So I'm thinking to there. So I also create the rough borders between these two fields, so... If we hook up... And go to the bottom base of this cliff face here. Or the silver hill, whatever. Something like that, so this would be the bigger field, so... Sunflower, this would be... Yes, that does mean with the combine we do have to buy a sunflower header, so extra expense, yes, but you know what? Not too fast. And about there we will stop. So yeah, you see, this bit here will be our field here for the soybeans. No, not soybeans, sunflower. Now for the corn slash soybeans, next fields would be here, so... Get a bit of space for the combine, combine to maneuver and that, so... Yeah, something like that. So we'll turn around. I'll quickly get finished off and then we'll come back and start doing the production chains.
So alright, a little bit of time has passed and we've got quite a bit of work done. So first of all, the fields are done. They haven't been lined or fertilized or anything like that yet. But since we own this land, I did pay an extra six grand. I think it was a bit more than half we were using, so be a bit generous, a bit fair. So this is going to be one, two, three new fields. And I may go with a fourth one, depending on the size. But what I want to do is get a track in. So from here, go along, around the tree line, and onto the roads, and give it a, a big curve range there. As well as able to curve onto here, because we are going to extend further down, down the roads. So before we start plowing field number four, we need to get the paving in, so let's have a look. So go over here, get the landscape and paintings. Let's go with a gravel track. Yeah, let's go with that. So once go. Sorry, that's where we can go. And this is going to be a lot bigger than any of our equipment will be, but I just want to have that extra space so we can be safe and just take care when transporting our goods and that. So, yeah, you know what? We'll cut some of these trees back and then we'll just have a bit going off there to like so. Ugh, that's ugly. And then something like that. Get a small brush, just finesse it all in. No, do not like that at all. So, something like that, but you put grass back in. There we go. Get a bit of gravel. Go and paint that in. So something like that actually looks quite nice actually. Then we'll go with plants. Get a bit of meadow. And I just want to put everything back in. There we go, like that. And what? Well, let's put place some trees in. These trees are not going to be cut down at all or anything like that. Something like that. No, not a sapling. Spruce tree? Why not? So, this one down there. Second one there. And a third one there. Ah, that looks pretty nice. And do we have any flowers? Where would that be under two? Well, should we be under trees? Oh no, I thought there was a f put up flower sound or something, but I guess not. bit of bush in over there. And what something like that. That looks quite nice. So now what we're left with, so it's gonna be again not our biggest of fields, but 
It'd be good to break things up a little bit, you know, just have that separation of fill sizes, so... Or you should just do it one big field here. Because we're doing... Soybeans. Yeah, I've decided... If you have a look, so sunflower, soybeans, and sorghum. You know what? This is this would be our sorghum field here, so that field there on the hill that'll be our sunflower. Sorghum would be this field here at the bottom. And then or do corn. Do corn and then a winter crop. Something like that. Could do sugar cane. Oh, that's gonna be super expensive, ain't it? Freaking me, 350 grand for that. And that's not even including the planter in that, because I don't think our planter doesn't do sugar cane. Go have a look here. Or go with a cheap harvest or something like that. Something, I don't know. Two row. Ooh. Nah, won't do that. But yeah, it must be one big field here. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. We may need to shorten that fields up there in a bit. Because when we get our production chain down, but. Overall, this is looking good. And sorry about that, quick import thing quality take there, so Yep, so what we say? Soybeans, no not soybeans, sorghum, sunflower, and either corn. Actually, have a look at our productions. We'll give a little bit of a sneak peek. Because we are gonna sort them out in in a set moment here, so no, not diesel. You could do diesel production and sell a bunch of diesel. But where is it to? Had it here somewhere. One is the industrial bakery, so sugar. Got all the things for that yet. Green meal, that's why we're doing sorghum. Sugar, we're gonna go with that. So that's why I was thought about sugar cane. Nope, not that. But yeah, I think it's like making our methane that, because I want to put something like this down. Gonna need potatoes, sugar beets, silage. Why not? Then I'll be a potato field then. Yeah, heck it, I'll be a potato field. I'm not gonna go with a packing facility. Ooh, another BG sub there. And uh, what was the last one I was possibly looking at? Where is it? Oh yeah, seeds and fertilizer, so... That'd be wheat, he'll need wheat, barley and oats. So, you know what? Yeah, potatoes. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go with potatoes. So I'm pretty sure... If I am correct, that could do sugar beets. We need to buy a new header though. That would be about 70 grand for the potato, so. Hmm. A bit expensive, I know, but I think overall, maybe worth it. And yeah, we'll tie up the paving here, like tracking that. So what I'm going to do is just quickly finish this off, get us all plowed up, 
quickly volume it and all that off camera volume and if it needs a further state but does it uh yeah it does so i'll do that off camera and then we'll come back and sort out those production chains because i am looking forward to those And there we go, that is the lineman done, fertilizing done. Of course, as usual, there are some spots where it has to be fertilized, but you know what? We're going to leave that. But now, down to business, and I'm thinking we may need to crop up here a little bit. If so, I don't mind cutting this back here a bit. And same with over here, so if we need to extend a bit, you know what? So be it. So, first production chain we need to look at is a green mill. Actually, you know what? Just sugar factory, because we need to get rid of those sugar beets cut, so... This is the modern sugar mill, and... Jeez, that is a big one, so... It comes out here and goes in there, so... I'm thinking... Something like that. Okay, it's made a bit wider. Oh, well, we can live with that, so sugar comes out of here. It all goes into here, and then enough space to turn around. Next, we need a green mill. Because, yeah, the farm supply production is useful, it's helpful, but it's just not that great. It is alright, it's good, but it doesn't have the speed. And these, both these actually are by the same model. I can't remember the same top of my head, so... I'll make sure I leave it somewhere down below, or at least a name of the mods I've used, or by the modders. So, green mill. Yeah, something like that. May have to go slightly over. What? Well, I can live with that. Yeesh. Alright, that's right, okay, we can clean that up. Maybe we just concrete all this, if that's the case then, that's fine. Oh, there is a last one, that is the industrial bakery. Products goes in and comes out there, so... Oh, just not enough space. Unless we do something like that. That's just going to make it really tight. What about if we, what we say before about, cutting the field back a bit, so... Something like that. There we go. And now I'll just do a quick decorating. So yeah, not too bad. We'll go over there in person. So detach the trailer. And oh boy, these are a bit bigger than full, so. But yeah, so. This is sugar mill. So sugar beet, sugar beet cut. So we'll put sugar beet cut in here, get that started. The wheat, not barley, but oats. We we'll go in there, same with the flour and cakes, because we've got the other production chains going with the greenhouses, so... But we need to put milk and eggs in here for sure. And flour, we can put that in here as well. So yeah, I think the best way to do all this and end the episode is one final time lapse, get all this done, and then we'll see the fruits of our labour after.
so that was quite a bit of an expense there. And uh, just see everything we've done. I did make an addition in after the time lapse of adding the production for the gold. And yeah, looking at it, well, we may have to import one item, but we'll explain that in a sec. But yeah, Zori handling this very well. Thing of turn space. So the sugar factory is here, this is one on the left. Make some tweaks and additions, so oh, if we get the brakes on. There we go. Moves a lot of pads over, so we've got pretty much everything and we're starting making cake. Bit of a slight glitchy mess there, but aside from that, we're looking good. And sugar beet cut, that will do 10,000 cycles a month. So yeah, that's going to be enough for two months for now, so we'll leave that for now. Wait on for these to come over a bit more. Not very big capacities for those, funny enough. But yeah, to make methane, it needs sugar beet cut. Well, the best thing to get out the most out of it would be what? Potatoes. But also, sugar beet and sugar beet cut will also be useful. We've got a ton of slurry, so we can send over here. But the gold. Looking at that. In the stone. So what I'll do is, I just want to see. Yeah, we're at the point now with money now. We are sort of slowing down with the OP productions, but I just want to see the gold production go in that. So we will buy a trailload of stones. No idea how much it's going to be. Hopefully it's not going to cost us our arm and leg, but for future references we'll make sure we rock pick our fields. Because the line production of it eh, is alright. Didn't really need it. Okay, not too bad, so whilst that's underway, we'll start getting water sent over. We'll have to buy that. Get some more should be cut over, slidage and all that. We'll start to do that in the next episode. But yeah, that is going to view modes. That looks beautiful. Minor tweaks here and there maybe. Oh no, that's just the trigger points. But yeah, we've got a shed here for some storage of equipment. And we also managed to eventually squeeze in a pallet storage over here so we don't have to transfer things back and forth to the farm. Makes our life easier and that. But yeah, this is actually looking quite nice. And for the field and that, not too much sacrifice was needed, but uh, still. Uh, that would do potatoes because I just realised we need a potato planter, which we don't have, so whatever this feels going to be, we'll decide in the next episode, so. But yeah, we'll finish getting this filled up, and then take us over to our industrial com complex area. So here's the stones for this. And just reverse up. Come on. Nope. There we go. And that's filling up very nicely. And take a full trailer of that. That's good to know. Um. 
but yeah, so we'll do it once, see just where it goes and that. But yeah, this is actually looking quite nice. It's a big enough area to turn around the lorry and that, as you can see. Not restricted or anything like that, so... I am loving this, and... I think that's where we'll leave it today, so next time... What we'll do is we'll get the three fields planted. We'll finish getting this set up. We'll see you in April for the first bit of next episode. And then we'll produce... Well, not produce, but go into May. So a bunch of clothes, guys. We've seen starting to think about finding that harvester and that, so I think the clothes will help us with that. Especially with all the headers we're gonna need. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, throw a free comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're a subscriber channel yet, then please consider what where you do. Thanks for watching, but for now. This is me from Revoid Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.